What I've got to share with you is going to help out a lot of small studios and individual artists because previously if you wanted to run a license of Houdini, you, you don't have that many options if you want to run a cloud-based workstation and you want to be able to use your license from home. If you were quite a distance from where your nodes are rendering and where your workstation might be in the cloud, um, if that distance between you and home is quite far, then you would have had a lot of trouble moving a license and abiding by the license agreement, uh, being able to operate both in the cloud and on premise. So SideFX have updated their license agreement for what it means to cloud users when you're using what's called a local access license. and that's the second license from the top, as far as I know, from the top one being a global access license. The global access license is handy because it can move anywhere around the world, but it's really only designed for high-end companies that are using their licenses around the clock. Now with the cloud, we actually have an issue because you've got users that need to use their licenses at great distance from their location. So whilst I might be located in Australia, in far north Queensland, I might want to use my workstation license in Sydney or in North America where render power is cheaper. And license limitations or restrictions uh, for much software that's out there uh, doesn't consider this use case. So it's really important for CG software companies out there to consider what the cloud means to startups and individuals because it's really the only leverage that they're gonna have in being able to compete because they don't have the same size render farms. They need to be able to utilize the cloud to, to burst their resources more effectively. And unfortunately, most licensing models don't cater to that use case. So something like the global access license, which is very expensive, is designed for high-end companies uh, who use their licenses around the clock. Um, they're able to have artists that might be in Asia um, use it for some part of a 24-hour period. And then when those artists are asleep, other artists in North America are able to use it for another part of the duration. The problem with this though is that artists like myself have the same needs. We actually do need to be able to use our licenses at great distance um, because the render power in North America is so much cheaper. So if I can't move my license between those locations to check out the data and see that my renders have worked out or to do a bit of inspection on a node network and fix some things up, then it's going to be really limiting for me. What side effects have done is really enabling. The local access license now can be used for any group of artists within 100 kilometers, but the actual location of the license server or anything that you're executing can be used anywhere, provided the group of artists that are using those, that license are located within 100 k's of each other. So the local access license now, I can move it between my home or say Sydney or to North America, so long as all of the artists are within 100 kilometers of each other. So then the next case to consider is what happens if you need to hire another remote artist. And if you need to hire another remote artist and you're both working on the same project under the same uh, license server or company that has that license server, if that artist isn't located within 100 kilometers of me, then I will need to get a global access license, which is a lot more expensive, but at least it provides me some ability to have a hybrid between the two. So the local access license allows me to serve a pool of artists in a particular location, but then if you need to hire remote artists, you can use global access licenses outside of that. So this is definitely a great step in the right direction. It's super enabling. And I think it's really important for companies out there to continue to pursue this direction that we're moving in because the previous needs of big companies that use the global access licenses are actually shared needs for individuals and for small studios too because they need to move their licenses at great distance. So I think that all of the CG companies out there do need to look seriously at what the smaller studios and individuals needs are when it comes to running their workloads on the cloud. As our cloud-based workflows become more and more enabled over time, we're likely to see more of a splintering in how the industry functions and we're going to be moving more to a location-free type environment 
And in order to accommodate those needs for the industry, I think it's really important for all software companies to consider what those users need in being able to move their workstation licenses and their rendering licenses all around the globe. The needs of a large company in this regard are no longer different to the needs of a small company. They're both the same and they really require a unified licensing model that somehow deals with the needs of individual artists to small studios to large studios.